Right, hello. Uh, this is going to be my very quick video on BGP Multipath. So BGP Multipath is a way of installing um, equal cost routes, if you like, into the routing table. Um, everything has to match, including the IGP metric. So the configuration of this involves three key steps. Um, by the way, here's, here's my little example here. We have two, two autonomous systems. Um, Basically, the this route here is going to be is being um, exported and redistributed to both of these. So sorry, both to both these directions. So this will have two equal cost route route paths to here. I'll just show that in the routing table quick. So show route. And show route. You can see here there's two equal cost paths here, and only one of them is being used. So root for the root table. We can see here there's only one of these in the routing table and the forwarding table. So let's do edit protocols PGP. Uh, I've only got one group set up here, so we'll do all we have to do is we'll have the pass the statement multipath in, in the under the group. Set group So that's, that's the configuration we have here, we've just basically added this. Okay, the next step is under the routing options. It's a, it's a bit roundabout this. There we go, edit routing options. There we go, set export. So, and let's call it load. You see what we have here. So we have forwarding table, export, load, load balance under the routing options. So the next final stage is just to configure that. So we configure load balance. So we'll go set policy options, policy statement. Load balance. And we should do it all in one hit tree. From filter group filter I'm just gonna do something a, cr a crude thing here right just just to prove the point I'm just gonna any anything that starts with 191168 and then let's do it then do it then load balance load balance per packet and we'll commit it Crack it went through first time. Okay, so let's have a quick look at our forwarding table. So let's do run show forwarding options. That's right. Run show root forwarding table. And what do we see here? We see two paths now. Brilliant. Now, just to prove my point here, I'm going to ping an address on there. What I'm going to ping, because because what happens if I ping an address that actually exists on here, then sorry for trace route to this, and it's this guy that's going to reply. So you so you can't see the path it's taking. Whilst if we if we actually trace route to address that doesn't exist on this network, then whichever router gets that packet, tries to reach it, is going to reply to us. So if we run a trace route to say three, which I know doesn't exist on that network, this may see a bit bit strange thing, but we can see where the packet's gone to. We can see where it's gone to. Uh, it's gone to take on the lower route this time. So here we can. Oh, lower route again. Again. Oh, look, just that one time. Look, it's taken a different route. It's gone to 26. 242 again. 26 again. Okay, we can see it's balancing. Okay, that's all, and that's the end of this video from me. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.